Hey there friends, it's Curtis Robinson. I'm hanging out here with your favorite wretch, Reaper. And Reaper uh, is going to test drive <clears throat> the cestus. So in ancient Greek and Greece and Rome, these were hand wraps with spikes. So let's see what these look like, first of all. There's right hand and there's left hand. So pretty interesting. The L1 button is just a block. <clears throat> Doesn't do a whole lot. Um, I will tell you that um, the R1 button is pretty cool. It's a kind of uppercut cross, maybe uppercut, uh, overhead right. Let's look from the side view here. Anyways, it is a clubbing kind of a move. And then the right hand, or the R1 button, is a big straight right. <coughs> Actually, it's a, if it's a single strike, or if it's a charge, it's two punches. How interesting. All right, let's try the L2 button. This is the magic button. And it gives me some protection. So the cool thing about the protection is you use that just before you go in uh, to avoid taking uh, damage. And to basically, it, it strengthens your poise, OK? I'm probably going to take that off. I'm not a big fan of it. But let's go play with this thing. Let's pick a fight with this guy. And one, two, one, two, one, two, and he got me. Pretty good, not bad. <clears throat> that was just all R1 button. I am pretty tanky, and I've got really good armor, so that helps. Let's try one combo. Oh, man. Well, that was not what I expected that, but I ended up doing a backstab, a back punch, backstab. I killed two guys with one punch. Well, you can't beat that even on a freaking Saturday. All right. <clears throat> Not too bad. Pretty cool. Let's go modify it just a bit. Put an Ash of War on there. I think I can change the Ash of War on it. Um, so, let's see. What should we put on the Spiked Cestus? All yeah, right. Not that, although those are fun. Not that one. I could put fire. I could put holy. And I also have this one. This is the lifesteal fist. I have not tried this out. Let's put this on there. All right. <clears throat> so if I go standard, you just get damage. Basically blood loss damage, right? Heavy, which is strength based. I lose points because I'm not a strength based character. But it does move my attribute scaling from D to B. That's super good. Keen, I'm a dex guy. It moves uh, to strength and dex there. So dex becomes, goes from D to C. Strength goes to E. Quality is C and C. Well, that's interesting. Occult is E, E, and arc goes to C. So that is pretty interesting. I don't really get an additional like fire damage or occult damage. Uh, so I'm going to standard is 91, 82, 78, 91. All right. And let's leave it right there for a minute. <clears throat> let's just put that on there. So the special ability should knock him unconscious as we drain him of life. Humble him, and then I drain a little bit of life. And then I just, I guess I just punch him to death. Interesting. All right, so now we need to go get injured, and we need to see how much it heals. I think that's pretty important to know, right? Let's go ahead and, oh, let's just hit this guy. Uh, hit me. Oh, meow, hit me again. We go. Bomb. It does not heal much. Let's do the math. That's important, I think. Status. I've got. I'm injured at 813 hit points. That's pretty good. 813. Let's see how much I get. And it could be based again on how well you uh, level it up. Oh, I didn't lock on. <laughs> All right, let's, now I gotta double check. I think he 
hit me. Let me check my health. Hold on a second. I think he hit me. Yeah, I'm at 779. Okay. <clears throat> now we can do the we can do the uh, thing here. All right. He's going to make his attack. There we go. And I'm going to hit him. Boom. Oh, well that actually healed me up nicely. That's, I mean, I went from 779 up to 1,000. That's significant. Now, the problem with this that I have read is that it's only good against humanoid people. So you can't do the life drain on a dragon or on a troll or something of that nature. It doesn't work that way. Interesting. It has a pretty significant lifesteal, and it stuns them and knocks them down. That's kind of cool. Pretty interesting. I'm not sure if it works at all on bosses, by the way, even if it's a humanoid boss. Let's try something else. All right, let's go with fire. Now notice I will go from... <clears throat> Standard is 91, 82 for heavy, keen is 82, 78, 69 plus 69. And it does blood loss build up, and that's kind of interesting. So you keep the blood loss build up, which is innate in the weapon. We're just going to go punch this guy and set him on fire. I think it would be pretty cool. Let's see here. Bop, bop, bop. I was single shot him. I did not spam. I just single shot. I didn't spam it. <clears throat> if we spam it, it looks like this. Actually, no. I've only got it on one hand. That is why. Ha! Let's go back. Let's try this again. Alright. That was weird. And dead. All right, let's pummel this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty cool, huh? Not bad. Of course, Flame of the Red Mane's special ability. You know, I look have to look up since it's fire wave out there for a short while. Flame of the Red Mane's is an awesome Ashra War anyways. Let's try right hand only. And boom, boom, boom. So the power punches do really well. Let's go back. Let's try a little, uh, let's put holy damage on it. Just for the fun of it. If you're going to go punch a zombie, I recommend holy. Let's see what we have here. All right. Again, 91, 82, 82, 78, 65 plus 65 is pretty good. And Golden Vow is going to give me a uh, pretty good benefit. So when I do the special, it powers me up. It gives me a buff. And it's kind of a lengthy buff. Let's punch this guy. Power Punch does break through his shield or breaks through his guard. That's interesting. Let's double check. I don't have it on both hands. Dang, gotta remember to do that. Right, let's try. This is gonna be spamming the R1. Cool. <clears throat> let's try the R2. A little bit slower on the attack, but I would say fairly undeniable. Let's see if I can pick a fight with this guy. R2 him with his shield up. Shield up, buddy. Shield up. There you go. Let's lock on. That'll help. Shield. All right. Shield up. Shield up, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Not overly impressive, but still pretty fun.
All right. Here comes everybody. So the fire, I think, does way better. <clears throat> Let's see if we can have some fun with these guys. Kind of need to spread them out a little bit. And we'll get this guy. Bop, 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 bop. Get the next guy. And get him. Bomb, I get hit. I still got him. <clears throat> this is the fight. This is the one. If you can break through the captain of the guards freaking armor and shield defense, it's pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Jump. So the captain of the guard is mangling me. I don't do enough damage. <clears throat> Here. Alright, I got my golden bell up. And let's see what I got. See, I, I can't stagger him the way I was doing with the uh, really good. Oh, I got blood loss. Did you see that? I can't really stagger him the way I was doing with the hooked claws. Part of that is probably because I haven't put points into this. If you do your smithing stones, you get some points in it, it becomes plus one, plus two, plus three. Uh, they'll be better. Um, my thinking is um, <clears throat> these are cool. Uh, you can buy them. That makes it pretty cool. But the hooked claws are going to be better overall. Let's just take another look at those. Right. Uh, let's put... I love having flames on the hooked claws, by the way. Um, Ashes of War. Uh, not that. Fire. I want fire. So I got, these are plus seven, so standard is 125. That's 89 and 89. Still not doing a ton of damage, but it's way different with just a few uh, points on there. Let's get it on both hands. I just like the action so much better for the hooked claws. Better than Assessus. Better definitely than Grafted Dragon. Oh, still stuck me. <clears throat> but you get through, man. You totally get through. Let's try the R1 button. Or the R2 button. And R2, R2, one hit. Crap, I didn't realize I did that much damage. R2, one hit. I'm one hitting him with the R2 button. And it's kind of undeniable. Alrighty. I can work through his shield pretty easily. The real question is what's going to happen when I fight the boss, right? Let's go get the boss. Let's kill this guy real quick. Right, let's see if we can aggro everybody. Get him first. Sir, you will die next. Got him. And there's the boss. That's the guy I was looking for. Alright, jump. No, I didn't need to jump. I got two on me. Let me back away a second. Here's not, I can do two. I probably can't do ten. I'm locked on here. Okay, stop. I'm in the corner. No one there. And I'm going to die. All right, got one hit point left. Let's run around. Let's drink. All right, now. All right, let's get this guy a big punch. His shield still took a lot of the damage, so I have to break through that. All right, here we go. This is the guy. And now my turn, sir. I'm not locked on. Dang it. Thought I was locked on. Jump and attack. Got me, but I'm gonna get him. Watch. Pop. Pop. All right. Not bad. Not too bad. So I definitely like the claws better. Obviously, the more points you put in the claws, the better it's gonna be. Obviously, you want your poise to be high. Let's check my poise. 
poise for, for this guy is, oops, poise is 41. No wonder I was getting my butt kicked. Let's get heavier. Let's do this all again. Here's my good helmet. Way better helmet. <clears throat> Way better armor. I think that's the best. Yeah, that's the best arm gauntlets I have. Uh... All right. Now I'll be harder to resist. So again, having that high poise is what you need if you're going to wear these doggone. If you're going to do cestus or you're going to do the claws, you got to be able to take that beating without getting stunned. It should be a lot more exciting at this point. Let's go in here and hit him with a running R. <laughs> Failed to lock on. All right, let's see here. Let's click this guy. Let's hit him with the running R2. I am locked on. That will help. Quick and easy. Lemon squeezy. All right, let's see what we got here. Just going to walk through this guy with the... Uh, R1. And we'll fight this guy straight up. I'm gonna block him. Think. Think. Got him. The block encounter. The the claws don't block a lot. In fact, they block almost nothing. But they still block and give you a chance. Put up the shield, sir. Shield. There you go. See, I cut right through them. Love it. I one-shot him with the R2 button. I said we one-shot this guy with a running R2. That was weird. I thought I only hit the button once. Maybe I hit it twice. What about you? Come on. You want some of this? is kind of looking at me. But that's who I want right there. He's going to do a little running attack. I'm going to do a jumping attack. Alright, I'm going to walk right up to him. And here we go. Oh. Come on, see this is poised. That is poise right there. I did take a good beating on that one, I will admit. But these are so much funner than the Cestus, I think. All right. Any questions on this review of the Cestus? Which, by the way, when you're looking at the <laughs> the look, you like that look? Or do you like... Oh, did I take him down? Let's put it back up. So when you look at it this way, this is one look, and that's the other look. You also get another foot or so of range because you got longer, you know, longer weapons. So, anyways, not too bad. Um, my assessment is assess this are okay. They're easy to get because you can buy it from the merchant in Kalid at the top of the mountain. And I'll show you where he is. Let's zoom out. This is the guy that sells the Cestus, right? Nope. Uh, all right, why am I so confused? Nope. Man, was it this guy? Nope. Oh. I think this is the guy that uh, sells the Cestus. Let's go take a look. I don't want to steer you guys wrong. Isolated Merchant Shack. Where is the Isolated Merchant? There he is. Let's see if he has a Cestus. Uh, there it is. So the Spike Cestus, this is the guy that sells it. And, you know, it's all good. Have a safe journey. Thank you. You have a safe journey also. Alright. That being the case. 
I am going to do another review of a totally different weapon, and we're going to see how it goes. I like to do all of my playing here at Gatefront. Uh, I just know the city really well. Guys, if you like these reviews and you think it's helpful so you can kind of see a little bit more about the weapon, um, the Cestus isn't bad. I'm going to say the claws are better. Just better. I love them. They're just awesome. Uh, by the way, I also happen to have... Uh, I have the Grafted Dragon. Right? Can't use it because I don't have... I gave up the... You know, this is what it looks like. It's not two. It's the... A two -handed, it's a one-handed kind of an item, even though it's a punching weapon. So, it is what it is. I didn't really like it. Doesn't work like the Cestus. Doesn't work like the, the Claws. It does a great AoE, by the way. But I just, I didn't care about it. Anyways, guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. Do me a favor, like and share on your social media channel. In fact, like it right here on YouTube. Go in there and subscribe, man. I want you guys to do that and ring the bell so you get notifications every time I post a video. That helps out everybody. Uh, you want to build a community? You want me to put more videos? Man, leave me a comment and I will do what I can for you. Take care. Peace.